everyone going? Today I wanted to do a video about being an Uber driver. Recently I signed up to Uber, I applied through their app and then um, went and finalised all the paperwork, got the car, which I'll touch on a bit later, and uh, for the last four, four days, four and a half days, yeah, four and a half um, to five. I'm sort of, I've just done a morning run, so it's Monday now. I started last Wednesday, excuse me, I started last Wednesday lunchtime. So um, it took a little while to get um, me all sort of sorted and processed. And then um, when I went in to sort of see them to finalise everything, they said, congrats, you're good to go. And so I basically drove out of there and um, got my first job and have been doing it ever since. So, so far, so good. I really, really like it. Um, being a girl is seems to be um, really well received. A lot of people will hop in the car and they'll be like, I can't believe you're a girl. I've never had a girl before or they've only ever had one or two um, female drivers ever. Um, so that's really cool and it's nice that people are so um, encouraging of the idea and are really embracing liking having what her 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 it's really cool that people are embracing um like female drivers and uh so far it seems to be really really positive so um i'm pretty happy with it basically the money's awesome i've never made so much money doing a part-time job before it's kind of bananas i managed to make a whole bunch of money in three and a half to four days that like I'm just like awesome all right let's keep going and it's really great app they've built it um, in such a great way that as a driver in the driver app you have these different options where you can see your star rating any comments you can see your trip history right down to every single trip how much it cost uh, what time you took it each trip has an ID number, so if you've ever got any issues and you need to talk to Uber about a specific trip, then you can just um, quote that trip number. It's all very, very easy. They have 24-hour, 7-day-a-week customer service via their email, so all you have to do is quickly email them and explain, oh, look, someone left something in my car, or I had a really awful passenger that, you know, it was really uncomfortable and you know explain why not that I have but I've been told that you can you know if, if you're um, not happy with the right how a ride went um, it just any issues your GPS took you completely the wrong way and so it would have you know ch overcharged the rider any anything um, like that they've been really easy to deal with the only issues I had dealing with them was trying to get on the road it seemed like no one in uh, their customer service area knew anything about how to be an Uber driver. They seem really, really good at what to do once you're a driver when you've got issues or you're a passenger and you've got issues. But don't bother, if you're thinking about signing up, do not bother emailing them at all. <laughs> Just do it um, through the app do your details and then go straight away, don't waste your time, go straight away to either Concord or Rockdale if you're in Sydney, which is where I am, and just chat face to face and they'll sort you out and it's so much faster, they're really, really nice. Um, and the reason I say don't bother emailing is because it gets really confusing because every time, obviously they have a big customer service team, so every time an email comes through, it's coming through to the exact same email address but it's dispersed to all of these different people. So one person will reply to your um, query and then they'll ask you a question and then you have to reply, but then your reply doesn't go to them, it goes to someone else. And then so on and so on. So if you really need an answer and you're dealing with one person and they don't give it to you straight away and you've got to reply and, and ask something else or ask again, um, it just gets really confusing because it's very easy and quick. Quickly you realize that the people don't read through the threads and they'll give you some other answer or they won't um, answer your question <laughs> properly at all. And so you sit there being like, this is really frustrating. Um, so my advice, 100%, just go and see them at one of their meeting points. Uh, they're really, really good. 
but yeah, because of the way their email system is, it just confuses everything and um, I recommend do not bother emailing them unless you have an issue as a driver when you're like in the car with a, you know, at, on a trip or um, as a rider, which I, I use Uber a lot as well as a, like a passenger, um, if you've got an, you know, any issue with your, your trip or your driver or whatever, then email them for sure. I'm really happy with how my experience is going so far. Um, everybody has been really, really nice. I've had no dodginess, no dodgy people, um, no nothing inappropriate. Um, it's all been really, really um, above board. The great thing is that your star rating and, and the ability to rate as, as a rider and the ability to rate as a driver keeps everything really honest. And I think that is by far and away the, the best part of the whole um, system because everybody wants to make sure they keep their high star rating. Nobody wants to be kicked off Uber um, and not allowed to use it or to drive with it. Um, you know, so, so it keeps everything really honest. Everybody is very polite and professional. Um, and yeah, so far I've had no issues. I've had nothing that has made me go, oh, I don't know whether I should do this, or maybe it's not a good idea. So 10 out of 10 for being an Uber driver. It is 100% worth it. The money alone is fantastic. As I said, I'm, um, I've never earned so much money for part-time. What I have previously been doing, which is a, a pretty fair hourly rate uh, for part-time work, I'm actually doubling it at the moment. So that's just, for me, that's absolutely fantastic. Um, being a visual artist who works from home um, and obviously doing YouTube, it's an amazing way for me to have the flexibility that I can do all of the things that I want to do in my creative um, career. Hello. <laughs> Sounds like they're testing my fire alarm. That's just great timing. It allows me to have the flexibility um, to do all of the my creative career sort of side of things when I want to and then I can do Uber when I'm not busy with that when I want to. So for me, I a lot of people will ask me um, if I do it full time. People are really interested in the idea of Uber driving. I don't think it is for everybody, but passengers love to talk about Uber. They love to ask questions, and I I love to talk about it and tell them how great it is. Uh, so I have no trouble recommending it to people and and you know telling people that if they're looking for extra work, it's absolutely fantastic. <sighs> I forgot what I was going to say. I think I went on a trail there and then I went off the trail and now I'm trying to get back on and I have no idea what I was trying to say. Don't know. I'm going to do, I'm going to do a couple of videos. I might do like a little three video series maybe. I don't know. I haven't quite figured it out. What is with these noises? It's like someone's in my wall. But I'm wrapping it up. I'm cutting it out. It sounds like someone's scratching out of the wall. Is there like a dead, per a dead person? Is there like a dying person stuck in the wall? Like, ugh. Anyway. So, bring back the zone. So I'm going to do a three part series I think, three parts, two parts, one, four, I don't know, keep, stay tuned, uh, but I, uh, seeing as people are quite interested in the whole Uber sort of phenomenon, I guess let's call it, um, I figured I would do, this is sort of the being an Uber driver video, just a quick sort of insight for me being a girl what it's like, and then I think what I will do is sort of how to apply to be an Uber driver, um, the um, most popular questions passengers ask me and um, maybe another one I don't know we'll see let's just start with those ones and see how we go I might actually do another one on how much money you can make being an uber driver and the ins and outs of the finances and um, sort of like how you get paid when you get paid how much you get per like trip um, all that sort of 
stuff. So I think that, that I mean, to me, I, I have, like, my mind has been blown about how much money there is to be made doing this. And um, I just, today, the first payment gets processed. So for th four days, um, it's a lot of money. It's much more money than I could make over four days in my previous part-time job. So, and that wasn't 100% eight hours a day or anything. That was like four hours here, three here, four here. One day, like Friday was like a seven hours, but it was like on and off. Saturday morning, Sunday like afternoon, and then just now like two hours Monday morning. So it's definitely not like slogging it or anything, and it's huge, huge power. Anyway, that's for another video. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.